crushed zirconium gloss and glory glides across her lips. She looks in the mirror, puckers, pops her gum, knows what would happen if mama saw her switch, girl. Bounce, bounce song scripts pinned into roots of denim, pressed into thighs rocking two Bobby shorts because she can switch, girl. Purveyors of pulp nonfiction sit on regals with chrome rims mocking constellations and damn her pelvic metronome. Switch, girl, spoken word. Is this, it's become this big entity where people think it's the end all be all. And I think it's one outlet to introduce people to ideas, to get people to think critically, think differently about things, you're gonna make different decisions about things that you do. I kind of came into the whole open mic scene in the late 90s. And it was kind of, you know, you would laugh at that stereotypical idea that everybody's got on a black turtleneck and they're all snapping and wearing berets. And, you know, I have a tendency to be a talker in between poems, which some people don't do. They just come in and they're going to hit you and be like, bam, get with it and take control of the room, which I think can work for some people. Or if I'm reading it out loud, sometimes that helps me revise too. Because you'll hear the things that you start to trip over and you're like, bloop, bloop, bloop. and I'm like, no, this doesn't sound right. What's going to work? So. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can also coach each other. Like, I know when I started performing a lot, my hand would do this. And people were like, what is your hand doing? And I'm like, oh, okay, all right. You know, there's persons you might see this one foot going or moving like this, and then you just keep looking at the foot. So sometimes it takes, you know, like a coach or somebody who can watch you and say, look, you're doing it again. Or maybe they hold your foot while you practice for a while.